everyone, this is Jamal Smith, and today we're gonna talk about how to make your bass guitar sound like a synth bass. But before we hop into it, here's a bit about myself. I'm a bassist and also a synth bass player who's worked with the likes of LMA, Teddy Riley, Khalid, and many other prominent recording artists from across the globe. On a lot of the gigs that I've done and still currently doing, bass guitar only makes up about half of my playing responsibility. The other half is made up within playing synth bass. For those who have no idea what synth bass is, allow me to briefly explain. Synth bass, often referred to as key bass, are bass lines played on the keyboard through synthesis. You can come up with many different tones and characteristics that can make a song feel new age and completely different than playing along the standard bass guitar. Some classic songs that include key bass instead of bass guitar would be stuff like Drop the Bomb by The Gap Band, Flashlight by Parliament Funkadelic, and Thriller by Michael Jackson. In today's lesson, I will be playing my red Fender Jaguar bass with PJ pickups, and I will be giving you not just one, but two ways to modify your bass sound to sound like a synth bass, just in case you get to the gig and you don't have one in your arsenal. Let's talk about the two different techniques we'll be approaching today. In synthesis, you have sound waves, which are also known as oscillators. In many bass sounds, you shape the oscillators to model which tone you're going after. Today, we'll be talking about the sine wave tone, and we'll be talking about the saw wave tone. All right, before we begin, let's hear that saw wave tone one more time. Right off the bat, I can hear the hard edge quality of the tone versus the sine wave, which is more round and smooth. To achieve the saw wave tone, we're only gonna need one tool. Some of you might have guessed what it is, but for those who didn't, we're gonna be using the infamous octave pedal. The octave pedal I'm using today only has three knobs to it. The first is the dry volume knob. What we're gonna do with this knob is match it to the volume of our bass. So that way when we activate or bypass the pedal, we don't have any spikes or drops in volume. The goal for this knob is to have one consistent volume in bass, whether the pedal is on or off. The next knob is the one octave down knob. This knob gives you 12 semitones below whatever pitch that you play. What we're gonna do is blend it until you find a tone that you like. It should sound something like this. The last knob we'll be talking about on this pedal is the two octave down knob. This knob gives you 24 semitones below pitch of whatever you play. Typically, I don't use this knob in my playing because since I'm already playing bass, two octaves below gives me a lot of muddiness and undistinct sound that I can't really use on the day-to-day -day gig. The key with this technique is not to try to replicate what I'm doing verbatim with each knob, but to create a tone that works for you and suits you best on any gig that you're doing. Let's talk about the sine wave approach. As I mentioned before, the sine wave is a much more round, smooth tone versus the saw wave. To achieve this, we won't be using any pedals, but we will be taking a look at our fingering hand position. As bass players, we normally play a lot of the lines on our back pickup or here on our front pickup. But today, the technique I'm gonna be talking about is actually playing the bass higher on the neck to sound something like this. Another tip I will offer with this tone is to cut some of the highs from your bass and maybe boost some low end with EQ. You can add a chorus pedal, octave pedal, distortion, really anything you like that inspires you. But the whole general key to this technique is to play the bass high up on the neck versus back on the pickups. So that way you get a much more smooth transient versus a punchy sound. Thanks for checking out this technique of the week. I hope you learned something new and useful. If you're stuck, drop your question in the comments. And if you're looking for more tutorials, check us out on Fender Play. Peace.